Okay, so I am using Universal Control, the new feature for Apple, and I like it a lot for my use case, but I'll show you what I do and then you can decide if it's for you or not. So this is Logic on, and I'll sh try to show you the setup of how you do it or where to go to, to turn it on, but you do have to be on the latest updates on your iPad, iPhone, slash, um, your latest settings for your computer, which are in this case, I think 12, version 12.3 of Mac OS Monterey, because this feature just came out. So I won't get into depth on that portion of it, but I do want to show you how I'm using it. So what I did was I took a track in Logic, put Scalar on, got some chord progressions going, used some of those, made my own down here, and here it is. So this is like a acid jazz type thing. So created a chord progression, played it out right here in MIDI, and then I just bounced it to an audio file. So the cool, and this is Keyscape I'm using. So the cool feature is, obviously I don't have Keyscape on the iPad, it's not on there. And I do probably more of the music making on the iPad, but I do like using some of the software instruments, which are really cool that I've gotten, particularly Keyscape. So I created a loop, built it at 76 B per BPM. And then what I did is because the, the way this feature is the universal control, I can grab it, come across here. And if you, and I'm gonna show you in just a second here, but you'll see logic sometimes will mess up like that. So let me just drop this here. I can drag it. And then if you notice, if I go this way, I have to turn this uh, for you to see now on the iPad. Now the mouse is on the iPad, right? So all I did was drag that that audio file over here. Now it's playing through here. So I can build a chord progression. This is awkward trying to move this camera around. I can build a chord progression basically in Logic and then move it straight over to the iPad and then create the drums or whatever else I want to do. Because I know a lot of people don't like creating in on the computer, so some people want to use the iPad. But I just think that feature alone makes the universal audio I keep saying universal audio, universal control, a sweet feature that I can share and now finally use instruments that I don't have on the iPad from the computer. So let's just say, let me open a new one. So for instance, this one, Elite Pianist, kind of a lo-fi piano, or if I want to use like the able, um, the bass guitar here. Let's see, create. Right, to create some. Cool bass sounds, if I wanna make a bass line or not play, or play my bass, whatever I wanna do, I could actually record it in Logic, which I think is easier to edit um, then on the iPad and then just send the note over to the iPad and then finish it out or whatever, or vice versa. If I want to do it on the iPad and then send it over to logic, I can do that too. That's a cool feature. So anyway, this is going to be a short video after, uh, iPad be making help me out to find it. Cause I really was struggling. Like where in the world is the settings? He helped me out. And basically you have to go into display. And then under display, you'll see universal control and then turn it on. It'll look like that. And then just hit done and you're good. And once you do that, then you can move over back and forth from the iPad to the whatever device you have, whether it's your phone or if you're going to use uh, whatever. And I'm on the iPad mini six, so um, it works on that too. So you don't have to worry about having the pro or anything like of that nature. There are some criteria that you have to have. And I think 
I can't remember all of them. I know it works on all the iPad Pros, but I can't remember which Airs it starts with. But I think on the Mini, it's the iPad Mini 5 or higher. So just make sure you check that, what the specs have to be with regards to that. All right, this video is over. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out.